Greetings and welcome to our service of worship for Trinity Sunday. My name is Mary Kelly and I'm here today from the sanctuary of Central Park United Methodist Church in the city of Buffalo, along with my good friend and organist, Andrew Van Derrick. Wherever you are viewing us from this day, we are praying for healing, for comfort, and for the peace of our Lord to enter into all of our hearts. We begin this time together with a prayer for Trinity Sunday. Will you please pray with me? You are one, O oh God, and you are three. You are majesty and mystery. Make us ever in your image, we pray. Make us one. Make us we. beasts 
of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verses 11 through 13. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age.
My brothers and sisters, we live in troubled times. And for many of us, especially in the city of Buffalo, these past several days have been a very trying time indeed. It is at such moments as these that our faith in humanity, in community, and in one another may be at odds. We might feel that we are at the mercy of forces that are much greater than ourselves. But I implore you, my brothers and sisters, to be strengthened by the faith that you have nurtured and cultivated, the faith that God has instilled within your hearts and within your minds. I pray that you will be of good courage and that your faith will inform your actions. Remember that it is God who is in control. And it is God and our, Sir, and our Lord Jesus Christ who call us to act in ways that bring about justice and mercy for all people. Remember that peace cannot be achieved, not lasting peace as long as injustice and oppression are allowed to exist. I implore you, brothers and sisters, to love one another deeply and to listen to one another carefully and deeply with compassion and with love for those who are speaking truth to those who are speaking truth to power, I thank you. I thank you that you have the courage to stand up and to speak with love for what is right and just. My brothers and sisters, the divisions that have separated one from another in our country cannot stand. We must find ways to bring about the kingdom of God in this world. That means coming together. That means setting aside our differences. But it also means that we do not capitulate, that we do not give up our ideals simply because someone else demands that it be so. The time for justice in our nation is at hand. I pray that violence will cease, but I also pray that justice will prevail. Put all of this into the hands of our God. Be patient, be loving, be faithful, I pray all of these things in the name of the one who came to save us and the one who is truly in charge. May the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be upon all of you.